Okay, here's the bottom line. I'm I'm out this weekend. All right, I've got I've got some things, but I I need a pitch hitter, and I'm looking at my list and I'm I'm trying to find someone who who understands God's love. And God loves me is a big thing. You can't just you can't just say it. You gotta you gotta understand it. You gotta feel it. You gotta know it. You gotta have it down in your your marrow, your bones. Like what He's done for the world is so significant. It's life changing, and I, I need someone who can really just just really communicate that and, and really believe it with everything in them and know it. So look at your resume here. It looks like you, you do believe that Jesus is the light of the world, that he is the truth, the way, and that there's nowhere else to go or any other way. And, and you have accepted and received his love. Are you are you sure you can do this as a bit? I know I make it look easy, but it's tough. It's tough to go out there into the world like this. People are going to reject you. People are going to deny you. Are you Are you sure you've got this? Do you have what it takes to go in front of the world and tell about God's love? I got this. Good morning. My name is Riley. Hello, all you not Rileys. I'm seven years old. And did you know God loves you so much? Today we are going to talk about... How God loves today we're going to talk about how God loves us so much and because of his love we shall love and kindness to other people I am going to read from 1st John chapter 4 verse 7 dear friends let us love one another for love comes from God everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God love comes from God so we should should use that love and be kind and show love to everyone do you want to know how we know God loves us so much? 1 John chapter 4, verse 9 through 10 says, This is how God Oh, sorry. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And because God did this, we should share this love like 1 John chapter 4, verse 11 says, Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. There are many ways to show love to others. Like if a friend feels lonely, you can play with it. And if a friend, and if a friend falls off a bike, you can grab them some oils and bandages and help them. If a friend feels sad, you can give them a hug. You can give them a hug and say everything will be okay. And if and if someone does something very horrible to you, you can just forgive it because that's how Jesus spread the love of God to everyone. We do these things because, like First John chapter four, verse nineteen says, we love because He first loved us. Do you still have the verses that Kevin gave us? One of my favorite verses to help us remember all we talked about today is 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. I hope you learned so much about how God loves you. I love you. I miss you. I hope we see you all soon. Bye. Riley, you did such a great job with the message, and, and in fact, I knew you would, so you're, you're hired. You're doing a fantastic job bringing the, the Lord, the message, the good news of God's love for us. Way to go. I'm so proud of you. And, and now, this is like a, a youth student takeover. This is Lara. Lara is such a good friend, and I love her so much. She has so much joy in her life, and there's something about her that's just phenomenal. And why I say that is the gift that God has given you. You are a composer, a musician, a songwriter. You can sing gloriously like angels and you play the piano like just at the highest level. Not at anyone your age, but you're going to be in some kind of concert place. I just, it's phenomenal what you can do. But the, the greater thing is not just that you're a musician, but the kind of music that you play and what is, inspires you to write the music and what it's about. The Lord is leading you. He's driving you. And we're going to join in today and have a worship song. We haven't been able to worship for so long. And, and she's put together a song for us to sing and join in. Lara, tell me about God's love. God's love is patient. It is kind. It is perfect. We should learn to love like God. I may have faith to move mountains. I may give But if I don't have love, I am nothing If I 
Yeah.